Okay, so you're sat at your desk. That clock is going so slowly as it gets towards 6 p.m. You're doing your best to look productive, but you're not really doing anything at all. We've all been there. We've all been there, David. But the current generation has a new term for this, quiet quitting. It's a way of mentally checking out of your job, but physically being set. But is this really a new thing though? I mean, people just not working hard? A few years ago, we had the great resignation. And if you go back even further, there's this 17th century term, spuddle, which means to work ineffectively because you either haven't woken up properly or you're just mentally checked out. So are young people today really using this term? Or is it just one of those social media trends that you see in the papers, but not really in real life? Let's find out. Um, I think it's definitely a thing in the Western world. Mm. I'm not too sure uh, how big of an influence it has in Korea yet. Uh, yeah, definitely. I can't lie, I maybe have done that as well. <laughs> I'd say, especially for the youth anywhere, not just here, quiet quitting has become more prominent because people are getting sick of like the hustle culture. It's a bit of like a, a meme on the internet, the Sigma grind set, but like a lot of guys, young men, mm. they kind of have that thing in mind, like, oh, we have to hustle, we have to do this. But for a lot of people as well, I just see them getting burnt out. Like labeling it, naming it became very popular as of last year. Um, but I've known about quiet quitting, like what it is for since I was, I grew up knowing it from, from my parents, from their parents, it's been around generations. See, it's definitely a thing. Quiet quitting is here, but that still doesn't say whether it's a good thing or not. In some ways, we can see it as young people getting smarter at managing their work-life balance. They're also rejecting the corporate lifestyles of the previous generation. Just like we have new music, new movies, new hashtags, we also have a new approach to life. Does this mean young people are getting weaker, more selfish? Afraid of the grind mindset that built these societies we live in today. While at the same time pushing generations of people into dead-end jobs and dead-end lives, that's a boomer take for sure. And are we sure the quiet quitting is really a young thing? What if it's just these companies gaslighting their employees to make them work harder? Let's ask more young people. Doing the minimum of what your job description is to get paid the minimum wage. You don't go above and beyond, you just do what you're paid to do. It's seen positively by like the workers, mm. but from the boss and the higher ups and CEOs, it's seen as a negative. It's seen as um, people not caring about the company or not wanting to, to try extra hard and get a promotion mm. or not really caring about like the overall success of the company. But Australia is very individualist. Mm. So it's it's more about doing what's best for you. It's like the whole MG Heather meme. Mm. Like I think that's like quiet quitting entering career. Mm -hmm. but in a hard way. So the MGs had their memes are sort of, the whole idea of it is like they're being looked down upon by the employers, right? Mm -hmm. So you have like the the AirPods, the intern will be like working at a desk and mm -hmm. then they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, but I can only concentrate with my AirPods in or while I'm listening to music. And all the seniors are like, oh, <laughs> that's not right. All right. <laughs> so it's like that meme, mm -hmm. but essentially that is quiet quitting, but it's been portrayed in a negative way in Korea. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of the younger generation, um, the younger Koreans are trying to incorporate it, but then they're being like whacked in the face by the Korean community, if that makes sense. They're doing what they have to do just to make their money at the end of the day. It may not be all about quitting. People see it as, or well, the younger generation see it, is that why put in so much work when the reward of getting it is so little? Corporations look at more, well, in the Western side, it's more profit margins. You see? It's all about money. Gotta get that paper, bro. In the past, working hard, being dedicated to your job, meant opportunities for growth. There was a connection between doing this and getting success. But we now live in a world of negative growth. Economies, including Korea, are slowing down. It's not enough to work hard anymore. And COVID. Do not forget the pandemic. This was a catalyst blurring the lines between work and home, home and school. Everybody started reevaluating their lives and all of a sudden, that big Maslow's hierarchy of needs became important again. And so we see more young people looking to get jobs such as YouTubers, taking up hobbies such as yoga, all in all finding a good work-life balance. There's a saying that's often attributed to Napoleon that says, if you want to know how a person's mind works, 
Look at the world they lived in when they were 20. Where were you 20, David? It's important to know that people in their 20s were raised on instant gratification. If they want to watch something, they have Netflix. If they want to buy something, Amazon. And if they want to search something, Google. It's our world. And so psychologically, at least, young people want to work like this too. When they're doing something, they want to know what the reward is. They want to know, is it worth it? And they want to know why they're doing it. It's actually kind of rational. And we shouldn't say this is the wrong approach. It may not make sense for people who had to wait two years for the next movie, but it's a different world now. I mean, they created instant gratification. But have we created a monster? Quiet quitting has given rise to quiet hiring. Companies are now retraining people rather than employing new ones. It's economic and it's psychological. So does quiet quitting have systemic or individual causes? Is it top down and the result of a creaking economic system? Or is it bottom up and is it psychological and young people's values are changing as their lives change? Just what is quiet quitting and where is it leading us? David, David, are you quite quitting?